quick video, or I say quick video, um, how to integrate the MLG to a PLC. And I've just T connector, I've got a five pin to five pin to eight to connect the two MLGs together um, so they can sync. And then just a M12 five pin cable that I'm gonna plug back into the SIG 350 um, to communicate over IO link. Now I'll just go and look in my PLC program because I've got some labels as to what ports I've used for different devices. Um, that way if I want to plug something back into it, it's uh, not being overwritten somewhere else. And I've already got port 3. <coughs> Doesn't look like pin 2 or port 2 is used, so I'll go ahead and just use port 2 on the SIG350. Now to verify port two, and then I'll adjust my camera so we're actually looking at the MLGs. You have an Ethernet cable connected to the MLGs, that way that I can interface with SOPUS over Ethernet. So once I've got all that connected, then I'll just uh, do a quick search and let SOPUS find the MLGs and everything else I've got connected on the network. <coughs> Once it comes up, I'll just drag the MLGs over to the other side. That way I can connect to them. So I had an error here. And IP address was not on the same network. So I'll just let SOPUS go ahead and change it so that I can talk to the MLGs. Now while that's changing the IP address, I'll go ahead and go to sick.com and get my IODD file for the MLGs so I can look at it and um, understand what I need to do inside the software to get the data that I want. <clears throat> I just look at the MLGs, I'll get the seven digit part number off of them. And I'll go to the ones I've selected And now once that pulls up, I'll go down to downloads and then mm -hmm. software and I'll pull the IODD file. Now I've got that, I'll go to downloads and I'll extract it from zip. Now I'll pull up my IODD viewer and I'll just open up that file that I just downloaded. Now that I've got it open, <clears throat> I can scroll down and look at the different types of data um, that I can get. So what I want is the beam status. So what I'll do is I need to understand how the process data is coming out. So when I get into SOPUS, I can change what process data I want to see. So if you end up getting this error, um, check your firewall or your VPN. I had the VPN still on. So once I disconnect from VPN, I should be able to connect directly to the MLGs. Now I'll just read from the device. Now that that loads, I can see I've already got cross beams on. I don't want cross beams on. So what I'll do is go down and go into expert. And then I'll turn the cross beams off.
I can see everything's off. I'll go to IOLink interface and I want the beam status. So I'll change the process data. Now I can go to my PLC, go into memory and look at the D registers. And I know that the data from the Secret 350 starts at D register 13,000 um, from a previous setup. So I can just go there and just start to see where the data is changing. So now what I'll need to do is take it down to a bit level because I want to see each individual beam. Now, if I stick my hand in it, I can see it starts at the high byte of D register 13,012. And as I move my hand through it, you can start to see the different beams coming on and off. I'll just take an ultrasonic sensor and put it in place because evidently my phone don't like standing up by itself. Now I take snipping tool and just snip that out so I remember where the data is coming. <coughs> So now that I've got that, I can go in and start putting in some logic in the PLC. So first, I need to be in monitor mode. And then I'll just do an online edit. Go ahead and make me a comment for my rung so that when I come back to the program, I know exactly what's going on in this section and to what port I've got it plugged into. <clears throat> now that's taken care of I'll just copy these two instructions um, because this is my byte swap and my word swap because you saw the data was coming into the high byte and I want to start with a low byte so I'll go ahead and byte swap it And I made an error here where I put it in uh, the wrong register.
now that I've got it bite swapped, I'll bring that data down um, and just break it out from the word into bits, just like we saw um, on the memory tab. And I want to start with zero. And then I'll just turn on an output. I'll copy and paste the exact same logic and I'll just change it by a bit so that whenever I stick the object into the MLGs we'll start to see zero come on then one then two I can send those changes. And click OK. And now I see the beams are all on. So in seeing them all come on at the same time, I've understood that I've put data in the wrong location. So now I'll go back to my memory and figure out what I've done incorrectly. So looking at this and see what I've done wrong. I've put the information into the wrong register or pulled information from the wrong one. So instead of D13,012, it should have been D13,013. Now I'll send those changes and now I can just verify everything's working correctly. See, I slowly move the object in as it breaks the beams, it starts to change. And that is how you take a set of IO-Link MLGs and get beam status from individual beams um, with the PLC. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.